Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, Long Island and the Tri-State area's largest provider of rock salt and the best prices you can find anywhere in the Tri-State area. They're at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. The website is omnitruevalue.com. And decorating for the holidays, your best place to go is Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs. And they're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, 631-957-5106. And the website here is liholidaylighting.com. Plenty of stock, by the way. So whether you're doing uh, this yourself or professionally, uh, they have everything in and plenty of it. Uh, check out the satellite this afternoon uh, going into this evening now. We're seeing uh, nothing but clear skies pretty much up and down the eastern seaboard with the exception of some patchy clouds in northern Florida and a little bit of cloud cover in eastern Maine uh, as low pressure moves out to the east. And then out to the west from the southern plains northward uh, into the upper Mississippi Valley, a lot of clouds, and this is due to the next cold front that is sweeping eastward. This is a system that came in to the Pacific a couple of days ago and is now making progress. And that'll be our next weather maker here on Friday. Radar up and down the east coast, very quiet. We're seeing rain and some heavier thunderstorms in northwest Missouri, northeastern Kansas. You can see a few severe thunderstorm warnings that popped up around 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, further to the north. It's just rain, and actually, as you get up into northeastern Minnesota, where the low center is, um, we're going to probably see some snow here back from there into parts of northern North Dakota as this low starts to move to the northeast. Storm Prediction Center has severe weather risks, slight risk from north central Texas uh, to uh, much of uh, central and eastern Oklahoma, also a small area of slight risk in northeastern Kansas, northwestern uh, Missouri, which we saw on the radar, it's playing out according to plan. There are no severe weather risks being indicated for tomorrow, nor are there severe weather risks being indicated for Friday when our uh, cold front will be coming on through. And you can see there is thunderstorm risk. I, it wouldn't shock me if they wind up throwing a small area of marginal risk, say, from southern New Jersey down into eastern North Carolina. But uh, this does not look like it's going to be anything too problematic. Rainfall-wise, looking at uh, a half, three quarters of an inch to an inch, I think is fair uh, with um, this first the system for Friday. There's also you can see some precip that lingers down the Appalachian Mountain chain and back in through Western Pennsylvania, about a half to three quarters of an inch there, and uh, up the uh, middle middle and upper Mississippi Valley with the showers and thunderstorms tonight. The bulk of the precip over the next seven days on the order of three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half in some areas. And more rain as it's been raining endlessly on up into the Pacific Northwest, several to many inches uh, being indicated there. So I want to do this too, a little bit here with the jet stream just to show you what uh, is going on upstairs. And uh, we, uh, ha we're we starting off here with a uh, shortwave trough that is moving uh, off the coast of Maine. And that ha this is the reason why it's a little cooler today because it pushed a cold front. Uh, down further to the south. This is what it looks like on the surface. Cold front that's down in uh, central Virginia and then uh, just kind of meanders its way back westward as a long warm front into the low pressure uh, that is up in, in North Dakota. This is the system that is moving eastward and I'll, will be our weather maker for Friday. So what's happening is we're going to be in a ridge position tomorrow, which is that our weather, I think, is going to start out probably with some sunshine with increasing high clouds as the day goes on, but no issues. The cold front itself is actually running out ahead of all the upper air energy that you see here uh, to the west. And uh, that is going to be problematic because we're going to have this upper trough hanging around all weekend uh, and even into the first part of next week. So the front comes through on Friday, and then it's got to wait for this upper trough to swing down and around and with this energy coming into the east on Saturday, I think it means that we could see some unsettled conditions with clouds, maybe some scattered showers. Then that short wave lifts out. And then take a look up in the western lakes. You've got another one that's dropping in 
and this is going to set up for maybe a weather system along about Monday. All through this, by the way, our flow is coming out of Canada, which means we're going to turn progressively colder as we go through the weekend and into the first part of next week. So let's just take a look real quick at how this plays out on the uh, surface. We made mid to upper 60s today. I think tomorrow, uh, because of the fact that we've got this south-southeast wind off the ocean and the high moving out near Cape Cod, that's going to keep temperatures cooler. Plus, we're going to have, I think, some high clouds coming in, uh, masking the sunshine away. So I, most highs from eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England down to Maryland and northeastern Virginia are probably going to be in the low 60s. Cool spots will probably be in the upper 50s. Then here comes the front for Friday. Uh, we'll probably see, be some, see rain uh, develop from west to east during the early morning hours on Friday. It'll peak out around mid-morning. And then if it moves along, we should see improving weather conditions during Friday afternoon. Uh, that's assuming that the, the, the model is correct on the speed here. It might be off by a few hours. But once the front goes by, I think we'll see some improvement. And then as that uh, next upper trough swings in on Saturday. Uh, look for some scattered showers Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. I think the GFS kind of overdoes it here with regards to this area of showers and rain that it moves up into New England. So I'm going to keep it on the idea that it'll be scattered in nature and we'll revisit this tomorrow. Temperatures Friday will be in the 60s. Saturday's temperatures will be in the 50s. Once that short wave goes by, Colder air comes in for Sunday. I think Sunday is going to be a struggle. Temperatures will be in the 40s to around 50 at best for highs with clouds and some sun. And you actually can see there's a little bit of lake effect going on in upstate New York. And then that, that final short wave comes around for Monday. And this might produce an area of snow or rain. Not all the models are on board with this idea. The other ones are kind of lackluster with it. Uh, so it may just mean that we'll have clouds and maybe a couple of scattered rain showers, uh, except in places like in Pennsylvania and upstate New York, where it could be uh, snow showers. Those areas could actually see maybe their first accumulations of snow uh, when you get up uh, from the Catskills north and west, for example, or the northern mountains of Pennsylvania and points northward. Monday's highs will just be in the 40s. Tuesday's highs will be in the 40s. And then that high moves out, and then we get ready for a warm-up for later next week before the next cold front comes through, probably again, uh, for next Friday. So it's a progressive pattern, whether systems are moving from west to east on a regular clip, uh, which actually makes the forecast a little easier because you're only looking really at every, you know, weather systems just just following each other one after another, uh, as opposed to when you got all this blocking going on and things are changing at all different levels of the atmosphere and 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 all different geographies. Because you have to look at what's going on both in Canada and across the U.S. and 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 that uh, makes for a lot of forecast volatility. But this is a little easier when everything is just kind of moving right along. Weather in five brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs. At 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, 631-957-5106. And the website is liholidaylighting.com. And also brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125. For the best prices in town on rock salt and just about everything else you might need to get you through the winter, omnitruevalue.com is the website. So enjoy uh, this evening and uh, tonight, the Joe and Joe Weather Show, live at 7.30 on my YouTube channel. So we'll see you then.